Today we take a look at a solution that is perfect for small business owners or even people at home who need something that provides a heap of functionality and can work like a typical NAS in that it can back up your data automatically. Though, also work as a home security, home theater PC, and also stream to all your devices on the network. Though with a price tag of 305 USD or 435 Aussie, is it worth your money? Let's find out. Welcome back to Tech Yes City and the TS251A is a network attached storage solution from a company called QNAP, which is essentially a standalone unit that features at the core, all pun intended, a Celeron N3060 dual core CPU running at 1.6 GHz and this model supports 1080p 60Hz output, has three USB inputs, has a USB quick sync connection which can be connected to a computer to allow the user interface to be accessed just like it otherwise could over the two 1 gigabit ethernet connections. Though with this model you can accommodate two of your own hard drives, put them in and the QNAP will do the rest for you in terms of setting things up. With the TS251A having the option to support JBOD, aka just a bunch of disks, RAID 0 or RAID 1. I had here loan samples from Seagate, the 10 gigabyte Iron Wolves, or in this case Wolves, which are dedicated and optimized for NAS storages. So with backup purposes in mind, I wanted to test them out in RAID 1. And when setting up the NAS, it was incredibly straightforward and easy, giving you the options to install apps that you would want to use and has the options to back up, share and access photos and movies, files and music from any device that is essentially connected to the internet and has access to the server. The model here features 4 gigabytes of DDR3L memory and has the option to upgrade to up to 8 gigabytes if you need it for heavy virtualization, which is a very powerful tool on this model. And this can be set up pretty easily and quickly and it does have model support for Windows 10, Mac, Linux, Android x86 virtualization and of course this device can be accessed via smartphones too with the ability to even notify you of incoming updates or if others have accessed the NAS via created logins. Though with a heap of different apps available I wanted to see how the TS251A could benefit my workstation needs and also see what apps I really liked and why. Firstly the ability to automatically back up data on RAID 1 configuration. Confirmed. This is easily done via the App Center, where you can even upload and sync automatically to a variety of cloud servers, and also schedule automatic backups on your computer and to the selected cloud server. Although it did take around 20 minutes to back up 22 gigabytes worth of archive files just via the gigabit ethernet connection. So your transfer speeds will be limited to one gigabit per second. There is also the option to transcode videos and have them readily streamable for use on any device connected to the TS251A which is incredibly handy if you like to use the NAS as a media stream box. Though I found on the fly transcoding to be quite laggy at 720p and 1080p. Though at 480p and below it was very smooth, you can also connect this device to a TV and this is where the included remote comes in handy as you can use it in conjunction with a keyboard and mouse to essentially use it as a desktop and home theater PC. Having the option to play music, watch movies, and even create and edit Word and Excel documents via the LibreOffice app. There is even the option to use BitTorrent, those search results were pretty limited. Though of course there will be those that ask, can it play games? Well, with the hardware it has in it, I wouldn't expect it to play Crisis 3, though it can play games with old potato graphics. In this case, it has a game called TTD pre-installed, which is still pretty cool. And the most I saw this whole time on the power draw was 20 watts from the wall, and that was with two drives installed even while playing a video. So it is very power efficient too. Though other cool features were the surveillance station, which you can even plug up to four cameras and have them live monitoring. And in this instance, I had a Logitech camera and can have it perform remote viewing. Great if you want to see if your stuff has been stolen while you're on holiday, or even great for things like monitoring your children whilst they're sleeping to make sure they don't get up to any mischief. Other things that I liked about this unit was that it was very easy to use and set up. So I think the target demographic here is basically everyone who needs a very versatile NAS, HDPC, streaming and virtualization box where there are options to perform even more complex commands. There is also the option to easily set up this device and have it work as a reliable NAS and media center quite easily. Though it may sound perfect up until this point, there were a few things I found tedious with the TS251A, with boot times being very slow. It took about seven minutes for this unit to boot into the desktop menu. 
and while there is an included SD slot reader, and upon inserting my memory cards that I use for video recording, I was prompted with the message to purchase an additional license in order to read the files stored on the memory card. I wasn't too pleased about this, especially since the developer of the software is QNAP themselves. I'd like to see this license included with the product for free. Also, when transcoding large videos to 1080p, they did take quite a while. This is maybe a task that you would like to schedule before you go to bed. Though besides all this, the unit worked very well and I thought the build quality was pretty good too. Having the option to easily remove, replace and insert drives and also the cosmetics, power efficiency and size were all a big plus, or small in this case. However, there is an included 65 watt AC adapter, which if they did a future revision, I would like to see that integrated into the unit itself. Though for 305 USD or 435 Aussie, you get a unit that is very capable, has great ease of use, a great assortment of apps and functionality, and allows you to add in your own drives. Which in this case, the Seagates did a fantastic job. Even when I was deliberately shaking the device, it still worked. So kudos to vibration control implemented in the Ironwolf drives. Anyway guys, that's about it for today. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the QNAP TS251A. Is it something that you would need in your home or office, or are you just a one computer kind of guy? Would love to read your comments and opinions as always, and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.